everybody, Mac here for OCR Things, and today we're going to talk about building a barbed wire field. All right, first things first, let's start with the supports, otherwise known as hedgehogs. These are three pieces of four foot long two by fours. Basically what you need to do is grab some two by fours, mark dead center and start cutting them in half. Grab two sections and mark dead center on each. Lay one on top of the other and attach with three screws. I chose to go with two inch all purpose screws. You can use the star head if you like. Whatever you got laying around, that's fine. Next, grab another four foot section of a two by four and a one half inch wood boring bit. Attach the bit, measure to dead center of your two by four. You can see I've already done this one and drill a hole straight through the middle of it. Now grab an attached cross section, prop it upright, and then go and get the unattached four foot section you just drilled through. You're gonna lay that right on top. Make sure the hole that you just drilled is dead center on the two by four that it's resting on top of. Put the drill bit in, and mark the 2x4 below, but don't drill all the way through it. You're basically just using the top board here as a template. Now go back to the cross section and drill all the way through. To connect these things, we're going to use 5.5 inch long hex bolts, or 3 8 inch in diameter with two washers and a nut. First, slide a washer onto the bolt. Slide the bolt through the single section. And then slide the bolt right on through the cross section. Attach a washer and a nut. And hand tighten only at this point. Using hex bolts is important to us because it's a lot easier to cart these things way out into the woods in sections and then assemble them in place. Furthermore, if you leave them loose, kind of fold up when it's time to put the whole thing away. As we build these things, it's important to remember to keep the bolt head side up the single piece is going to face on top of the cross and it is going to angle in and down into the barbed wire field. The barbed wire is going to rest on top with a two foot void in between our two strands. To connect the barbed wire, I'm going to use two and a half inch screws that I had laying around. These are deck screws that are coated. I figured they'd uh, weather a little bit better. And I'm going to go to my cross section, not the single piece, the cross section, and I'm going to measure up 24 inches from the deck going to attach my screws so that they face in the opposite direction of the barbed wire field, meaning the outside. I'll explain why we do that in a second as well. Go to the other side, mark 24 inches, attach a screw over there as well. So here are our screws, they're facing backwards, away from where the barbed wire is going, and the barbed wire obviously is facing into what we consider the barbed wire field, where you're going to crawl or roll or do your thing. Notice the top board over there with the bolt, it's facing inwards as well. On to the barbed wire. Very important. First, grab yourself some thick gloves and some eyewear and your tin snips or your wire cutters, and of course, straight from Amazon, real barbed wire. This comes in 60 foot rolls. There it is, as a matter of fact. Okay, make sure you get rid of the newspaper that it comes wrapped in, unless you want to get caught up on current events. Get the box out of the way. Go back and grab your spool. Very important. See this wire? 
First time I got one of these open, I snipped it, and bang, the thing deployed and almost took my face off. So, untwist this little wire while you are holding on to the rest of the spool tightly. Then, either hold on to or, in this case, step on the spool while you cut the other wire holding the spool together. That'll stop it from scratching you up, poking your eyes out, or doing other bad shit. Safety first, or at least third. Very important, make sure you space the screws of your hedgehogs 10 feet away from each other. Not the hedgehogs themselves. Make sure you grab your tape measure and measure from one screw on one hedgehog to the corresponding screw on the other hedgehog 10 feet. Keep your hedgehogs there and use them as a template to do all of your lines in one fell swoop. Next, take one end of the wire and measure 12 inches. Bend the wire at the 12 inch mark. Go over to one of your hedgehogs. Place the bent side around one of the screws. We're going to make an eyelet of about three inches in length. I'm going to take the excess wire and wrap it around. If you have super fast fucking hand speed like I do, it goes really, really quickly. Straighten out the wire. Pulling it as taut as you can in the direction of the other hedgehog. My recommendation is to step on the spool or the other end of the wire. It helps you straighten it out and it also keeps it from going all over the place. And then on this end, we're going to do the same thing. Bend it around the screw on this hedgehog, and then we're going to measure 12 inches, and we're going to cut the wire there. The reason for measuring 12 inches on either side. Even though that our barbed wire field in the middle is 10 feet long, one foot on either side makes the strands 12 feet long. We've got two spools of 60 foot of wire. It's 120 feet. That's going to give us perfect measurements for 10 strands of barbed wire that in the end will use up 12 feet a piece. Get it? Not rocket science. This way we have no waste. Assembly. Now for however many pairs of these things that you make, in our case we made five pairs two strands of barbed wire on each. You might want to take your tape measure and measure in between the inner screws, four feet. That's roughly the void that Spartan Race has. And you're going to make sure that the barbed wire attaches to each while the slats are facing inwards. Start grabbing barbed wire and start putting those eyelets over the screws. For us, that's five pairs of hedgehogs with two strands of barbed wire that are 10 feet long on them each with a 24 inch gap between them and a four foot void between each set of hedgehogs that gives us a barbed wire field that's 10 feet wide by 26 feet long. And on average, the barbed wire is about 24 inches off the deck. If you want to make your barbed wire lower, you can always wrap the barbed wire under the support rather than going over the top. That's totally up to you. You might want to go around the horn and adjust. Put your gloves back on and straighten the wire to make it taut. If that's what you like, get the thing looking exactly the way you want it to. Other than that, you should be good to go. Enjoy.